Okay, so uh, the basic child needs of this period is I am the center of the universe. All my needs are fulfilled instantly and everything and everyone in this world is a part of me and work for me. And this is normal. The child feels that he is a god. Any abnormalities, uh, stress, health issues during pregnancy and or right uh, for during the first month uh, after the birth and such as um, when the the fetus did not receive enough food or enough vitamins or maybe birth trauma or any difficulties during the birth, the child can form the belief that the world is a dangerous place. I cannot trust the world. I cannot trust anyone. At the deep level, the child experiences the feeling of deficiency and the child might control a mechanism which means Mm, the desire to compete, to fight with other people, to be higher, better than everybody else. So in order to achieve anything in life, this person will fight, will compete, will be angry, will be violent and um, will be selfish. And this is going to happen. This is happening because during the birth, he had a trauma and he created the belief that this world is a dangerous place. I should not and I cannot trust anyone. Uh, every child goes through this narcissistic period. And this period is necessary for healthy self-esteem. A child should feel himself as a center of the universe. And this is going to help him to create the feelings. Yes, I can. I deserve uh, good things. I am capable. And this will help him to create a good health esteem and self-confidence. But if the child went through trauma during this period, um, then in a worst case scenario, we're going to have a narcissistic, selfish person who cannot trust anyone and who feel superior above all. And trauma during uh, a narcissistic period uh, in adulthood might reflect as um, um, a dependence on other people. What other will say about me? Uh, the desire to become one uh, with another person, dependent relationship, uh, a person who wants to have a friend who feels, uh, thinks uh, and does the same as he, or a woman who believes or want to have a husband uh, who will predict her desires, who will um, be a psychic and not understand her mood. Uh, we might have a person who will have constant struggles for resources, a person who will use manipulation uh, and lies to get what he wants. Um, we might have a person who has feelings of superiority over others and um, the person will think that he has to have a better car, better house, better phone, better husband, better friends, better job and the person will show off in order to show you know, everybody and uh, himself first that he is better than others. He believes that he is better than other and that's why he has to have the best of the best. We might have a, a person with a narcissistic trauma um, might uh, criticize uh, a lot other people and uh, other people work and it might happen in real life so the person can actually say those words or he might think it in his head. So it's constant comparison of um, himself with others. And when a narcissist can't get what he want, uh, he either devalue it or he feel his feelings of superiority changes to a feelings of insignificance. The feelings that nobody understands me, I am nothing, uh, the, the desire to hide, and then it's going to change quickly to the feelings that I am better than everybody else. Because a narcissistic person cannot feel shame, he cannot be in 
feelings that I am worse, I, I'm nothing. He cannot be in those feelings for a long time. So he will change back to the selfish, um, rude, uh, um, manipulative person quickly. And again, he will put himself above everybody else. And the narcissist often lives uh, in anxiety, fears, uh, because he or she has to analyze every situation, every small conversation. And a narcissist is a person who always think what uh, he should say in return, how he can answer in this situation uh, or what he was supposed to answer. So this person lives in constant anxiety and uh, this anxiety becomes kind of normal for him. And during uh, the uh, online training, eight weeks of uh, healing the inner child, uh, the first week uh, we're going to talk about the paradise, return to paradise, return to the feelings of paradise. And we're going to do this because the uh, narcissistic period is extremely important. And everybody went through this period and everybody um, time to time wants to be superior, right? Everybody uh, feels that people cannot understand him. And narcissistic trauma can be deep or can be shallow, but uh, we're going to work on this trauma. And we're going to do uh, an exercise that called the divine child. And it's going to help us to learn and connect with the, uh, our inner child. We're going to learn how to hear our true desires. Then we're going to do an exercise that's, that uh, is called uh, a magical lake. And the symbol of a lake, uh, the round lake, is a symbol of a mother womb. And um, we will return to the feelings of paradise. We're going to fulfill our inner child with love. We're going to give him sense of security, freedom, and happiness. So he is not going to struggle anymore. He's not going to suffer anymore. And uh, he is not going to make us um, fight with other people, fight with the world. And then we're going to do an exercise uh, turtle. Uh, in order to learn how to relax, how to relieve the anxiety, relieve our stress, and how to feel protected by a strong turtle shell and find the secure place within.